Welcome back to Recheck. Today we'll attempt to repair this uh, 60 watt MagSafe power adapter. If you watched my previous video, I was uh, going through how to identify which charges are salvageable and which ones can be repaired and the ones which we can just uh, do without and not waste our time on. This one has a damage. The only damage is on this part. These are seem to have blown up in a very dramatic way. So we'll attempt to fix it and our fix will involve uh, cutting off this cable and making a new charge out of this which appears to be dead so stay tuned now let's get down to this repair first step is to cut off the bad portion of the cable give it a, a respectable distance uh, until that point I think it's okay then I'll open up this charger body if you have if you do not know how to open these chargers let me show you how just hold it between your knees and uh, using a long nose pliers put the pliers in between these two ends at the clip and then pull apart that's how you open a MagSafe charger. Make sure you don't lose any of the clips. Pick them and put them somewhere safe. It's a clean break. Then remove this junction. If the casing wants to come all the way out, you can remove it. But if it doesn't want, you can leave it at the point where it, uh, it has reached. So with this junction out, it is destroyed, we don't need it, cut it out. That's gone. We look for a new junction, put this cable inside it and then solder. Here's our junction, it's another junction I've got to replace that. Now I'll slide it over this cable. Once it slid over the cable, now we can cut off the insulation from here and prepare the point at which we're going to solder. Now if you have heat shrink tubing, you could put it on top of this bare wire and uh, shrink it down to make your work neat. If you don't, don't worry, we'll uh, work with what we have. Now this cable is ready for use, but we don't know if it's working. So I'll test it on a MacBook. At the same time, I want to test this charger. The first and most obvious test for this repaired uh, the MacBook chargers that you're repairing is to connect them to a power source when there's power flowing through the cable so I'm going to be on the lookout or I'll be waiting to hear if there's a pop sound once I connect this to this point that if there is a pop sound it tells me that this charger has input and uh, it's most probably okay Yeah, that pop and tells us that this charger is okay it has input now we'll test for output and to do that i have here a macbook air which uses a magsafe 2 connector so i'll use this i'll use this magsafe 2 connector because this is a magsafe 1 so to you test I'll use this MagSafe connector here is our connection to the MacBook and here is our connection to the charger make sure the white goes with white cable 
and the other one is by default negative so watch out for green and then amber now that's a good sign you can see the light has turned to amber showing us that it is charging our macbook air so this charger is okay and this cable is okay now we can solder this wire here and I'll close up this charger the step of our soldering is fairly easy just match the colors I've applied solder to both ends of this wire so it's just a matter of attaching them together and soldering if you have heat tubing you can use it here to cover this joint it will be more neat and professional but if you don't this is a DIY channel you can use uh, uh, insulating tape at that point the first cable is soldered and insulated next step we attach this junction to that point this is easily done just put some super glue at that point at the end of this uh, rubber insulation a little bit of glue then pull back this junction up to that point then allow it to set and that one now is done this next step we want to put this assembly back inside the charger so to do that we make a nice loop of these wires as they go in so as to relieve any stress that they may have and to avoid uh, breakage and so I turn this to make that loop and then I push the junction in and fit it into its place on one side then now I'll apply glue all the way around on the raised edge not on this side which is sunken on the raised edge of this case and then uh, stick these two pieces together and then uh, we'll have our charger now we apply glue all around the edges on the inside of the raised edge here make sure you don't put a lot so that it doesn't overflow before the glue sets we need to replace both clips now we are resting again this time before we so as to cover this charger now here is our finished charger unfortunately i couldn't record the last part where i put in the clips and i close these cases these two cases together because i ran out of storage space on my recording device and because I was racing again this time before the glue set, I had to finish this uh, without filming it. But this is the finished product. The serial number, the junctions are okay, the clips are there. That's the junction we put. This junction is now strong, as good as new. And here is our connector. So this charger has a new lease of life. We need just to clean it right now and uh, it will look as good as new. So that's how you repair a MagSafe 160 watt connector which has uh, damage at the point where the cable meets the charger body. That's at this junction. Once again, if you like this content, kindly consider subscribing, liking and sharing. Also give comments so that I hear and know what you think. Thanks for your time.